So when a story breaks, we're not chasing a lead. We're already there. I'm Marianne Mashiri on The World Today for BBC News. Live from London, this is BBC News. Russia evacuates parts of its Belgorod region close to Kursk as Ukrainian forces continue their surprise cross-border offensive. Vladimir Putin says Russia will respond. The Defence Ministry's main task is to push and to kick the enemy out of our territory. The enemy is probably trying to improve its future negotiating position. Thousands of people in Greece are told to flee their homes as wildfires edge to the outskirts of Athens. The Greek government calls for international help. Warnings were missed about the mental health of Valdo Calacane, who went, went on to kill three people in Nottingham last year. America's Defence Secretary orders a guided missile submarine to the Middle East as fears of a wider regional conflict grow. And after weeks of sporting excellence, the Olympics have drawn to a close. Now Paris turns its attention to hosting the Paralympics. Hello, I'm Anita McVeigh and welcome to Verified Live. Three hours of checking out the day's main stories and the facts behind them. Russia's President Vladimir Putin has told a meeting of his senior officials that Ukrainian forces must be kicked out of the country. He was speaking as Ukraine continues its week-long offensive, with troops advancing up to 30 kilometers, that's 18 miles, inside Russian territory. Local authorities are now evacuating residents from a second region, Belgorod, which is situated next to Kursk. That's where the Ukrainian offensive began last Tuesday. The acting governor of the Kursk region said Ukraine was in control of 28 villages there. President Putin claimed Ukraine was trying to improve its negotiating position. The Defence Ministry's main task is to push and to kick the enemy out of our territory. The enemy is probably trying to improve its future negotiating position. What negotiations can we conduct with people who are targeting civilians and civilian infrastructure, or those trying to threaten nuclear energy safety? But the main target is a military one, to slow the Russian advance at other parts of the front. So what? The speed of the Russian advance has increased one and a half times. So what will this Ukrainian advance mean in the wider context of the war? With more on the rapidly developing situation, here's our security correspondent, Gordon Carrera. Russian citizens who fled their homes amid fears that fighting may spread. 